Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out in the yard and I'm working on the Ford 660. The top link draft bracket where the top link connects on the back of the tractor is bad. And I have to replace that bracket. It's going to be quite a chore. I haven't seen any kind of videos or anything on it on the internet. So I thought it'd be good to make a video, thought it'd be helpful to you. Thought you might be interested in seeing how this job is done. Here's that bracket. And as you can see as I get in here close, it's been broken and someone's done some welding on it. However, I do not trust that. And I'm afraid that whenever I put the top link here on it, that it would break with any kind of pressure at all. And you can see it's not even uh, square. And so I'm going to replace that. Here's my new bracket that I ordered. It's cast. Both of them are. But you just pull this pin out right here. Put it right up here in the seat. Slide that pin out. Now your bracket's free to move. And there's a retainer pin right here. It's about a one inch diameter, I'm guessing. And it looks like it's about three inches long. And I'm going to take my air hammer and a flat punch in that air hammer. And I'm going to see if I can't ease that thing out. I've been using seafoam deep creep on it that is the best penetrating oil on the market and no i'm not being uh sponsored by them i don't have any affiliate links or anything i just i used to have an auto parts store and we've sold everything in the world there and that product is phenomenal it's really really good pv blaster is too by the way they both do a super job of penetrating. I've been spraying this all morning. So let's see. It's a little after noon. Let's see if we can't get this thing eased off. All right. I have my air hammer. I'm using a half inch supply hose because I have 100 feet coming from the house. I have 125 pounds on my five horse air compressor. And by the way, these uh, back rear ends and these top links are the same for all the 600 series and I think even the 800s. I'm going to set this up here on the seat out of the way. I'm using uh, glasses. Let's see if we can't bump this thing out. I'll try this side first. I don't think we budged it any at all. might have moved maybe a sixteenth or so. Hmm. A little bit. It has moved a little. Keep lubricating it. Let it sit there for a little while longer. I'm going to lubricate it and I'm going to let it sit and and try to penetrate some more and I'll come back let the air build back up in the compressor so that I have the strongest force and I'll try again here okay I take my hat off put on a little hearing protection because this is loud
I have to rest. It moved quite a bit then. Need my compressor to, to build back up. As you can see, we've had quite a bit of movement. And so, I've allowed the air compressor to build back up. I've rested a little, so I'll get back to it. There we go. What a booger. And we have it all. I'm not going to kid you. That was tough. Not for the faint of heart. It takes time and it takes patience. Okay, here's my new bracket, this old pin, it is, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's bell mushroomed right here around this side right here, and a little bit on this one. I'm going to clean it up with my wire wheel and my Scotch-Brite cleaning pad here. Then I'm going to go to the grinder and I'm going to dress these down and try and get this thing even so that it's not mushrooming back out. Okay. I have them pretty clean. Really see that this edge is mushroomed where someone, it looks like, tried to get it out before. Really did a job on it. I'm gonna go to the grinder, dress that, take my micrometer, mic it, and make sure that I don't get it any smaller than this center part. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the new pivot bracket. Here's the pin after I worked on it. It had a good sixteenth of an inch bell on each end. And it'll slide in there pretty good now on either side. However, tightens up a little bit. One of the things that I'm going to do here very quickly is I'm going to take my pocket knife and I'm going to run it around the inside here and I'm going to get this paint out because the paint is impeding this pin sliding up in there. Okay. Slides in there very good. Let's hope it goes through the back of the tractor as easily. it with my hand didn't even have to have the air hammer now that's amazing there are little holes right here where cotter pins go in and so I'll put a couple of cotter pins in there here's my old link pin
Come on, hang on. Get a little help. All right. Here's my new one. Third link goes right here, top link. That pin goes in right there. So, there you have it. My, it was awful easy after you got it right. I'll get a couple of split pins or cotter, cotter keys and put in there and hold that together. But that's how you do it. So, there you have it. Getting that bracket out and pushing that pin out is not an easy task, but it can be done. It's not pinned. Uh, meaning there's not a cross pin in there holding it. It's not threaded. It's just a slide in pin. It's one inch in diameter. It was bell shaped on both ends where someone had hit on it before with a hammer. I used my air hammer. I lubricated it really good with seafoam deep creep. And so the penetrating oil is very important to make that work. And also then after I got it out, I cleaned it up really good with my wire brush and I took it to my grinder and I miked it and I took the bell shape off the end and then I pushed it right through with my hand as you saw. And so you can do this yourself. Just be careful so that you don't break the cast on the top of your rear end here. Thanks for following us. Thanks for taking the time to visit our channel. It's free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. So please do. It costs you nothing. We would appreciate it. We need the subscriptions. Hit the like button. Share this with a friend. There's not a video out there on YouTube anywhere that I saw that addressed this. So I'm sure there's plenty of guys out there with 600 series and 800 series tractors who need to know this. God bless you. Have a great day.